What's up YouTube? Jeff Onstott back again with another video. Just got out of a cold shower and I'm kind of trying to get warm again because that was freezing cold. Some cool graffiti back here. There's like Eminem and kind of cool. Um, <laughs> so I wanted to talk a little bit today I guess about perspective and that seems like a really boring topic or just I, I might go over it way too much but it's so important um, and I like to just talk about it so I can kind of train it uh, for myself as well um, and another thing I'm going to digress about is the, the best way to learn anything is to teach it even if you don't I guess obviously you have to learn it before you can teach it um, but teaching it will further kind of instill it into your head better so if you are kind of foggy on a subject just try to teach it make a video about it and you will be way more competent on the subject some of that might seem contradictory but anyways perspective so you know I, I, I've always thought um, like saving money and you know um, getting ahead or just like doing the right thing sucks and is boring but that's totally the wrong way to look at it if you're constantly looking at or I was constantly looking at saving money as being crappy saving money sucks um, or you know not partying sucks being sober all the time sucks <laughs> when the opposite is actually true not partying is the best man Saving money is the best, you know. Getting ahead is the best, you know. Getting out of your comfort zone is the best. So it's just such a contradiction that, you know, we're all slaves to, basically. You know, we're, society has kind of made us spend money, you know. Party, drink, it's okay, you know. Um, have that indulgent evening with all this indulgent food and just you know live you know YOLO and I get it man you know and it's it's something that um, I've struggled with for so long and I still struggle with FOMO fear of missing out you know fear that someone's having more fun than you you know and it's just such a terrible trap to get into because it keeps us from saving money it keeps us from staying sober you know and my grandpa he gave me great advice um, last time I saw one of my grandparents he was like I was like grandpa if you could give me any advice um, I actually give I'll say both of my grandparents advice they gave me um, I was like grandpa if you could give me any, any advice what would it be and he was just like stay sober and save your money and I keep coming back to that man that's so like it's so simple but it's so uh, effective I gotta get out of this traffic you guys can probably barely hear me I have to raise my voice so I'll go out here a little bit I'm just trying to get my my body warm because I was freezing in that shower and then uh, my other grandpa I asked him the same question he's he's like 80 something and he's healthy you know him and my uh, my grandma are both really healthy at their age and I'm like grandpa what's the secret and he, it was just two words, clean living. Boring, right? It sounds so boring, you know, and that's the problem with, uh, I guess, just the perspective thing, you know, is we look at clean living as boring, or at least I have, you know. That's boring, man. I want to I wanna go party and have fun and, you know, live an indulgent lifestyle, but that's totally not true. So, you know, you, you have, we have to turn these ideas of what's boring and what's not completely around because saving money is awesome. Trying to be successful is awesome. Pushing yourself is awesome. Reading is awesome. You know, that, that's a perfect example right there. Reading sucks. Reading is for geeks. Reading is for nerds. No, dude. Reading is for smart people. Reading is for people that are getting ahead. When you read a biography of someone that was successful, 
you are instilling their thought process in your mind preferably an autobiography but even a biography most of it is the dialogue of the person <laughs> so do you want that in your mind or do you want bullcrap ads on Facebook whatever Holly whatever who posts every day do you want that in your mind <laughs> so you know I've become very selective about what I listen to who I take advice from um, I only take advice from people who have the results I want if I'm taking advice from someone who's partying and drinking and you know I don't want to be around that so um, changing a change in perspective is so key if you want to get ahead and I'm not ahead but I know that if it wasn't for me changing that perspective I'd still be stuck in the paycheck to paycheck I need to get drunk every night I would never read a book and I'll die with the same knowledge I have in my head now <laughs> terrible mentality anyway another blunt serious video I hope you guys enjoyed it I mean I'm gonna try to start maybe cracking more jokes or showing other sides of my personality besides the the uh, side I always show <laughs> but you know I, I do have a sense of humor I promise I'm very lighthearted and uh, humorous but you know I want to take my life more seriously you know, um, you know, every all your success depends on how serious you take your life, man. You know, some people put social status before success. You know, some people put indulgent living before their happiness, and delayed gratification will will surpass all that. Delayed gratification equals happiness. Um, see, I, I can't go five seconds without turning it into a ranty type video, but. Anyway, moving on. This video is done. I'm done talking. The Man, my head is full of so many ideas. So anyway, you guys have a great freaking day. Enjoy this weather if you're having it. Bye.